but foist uh, with piles of leaves to play and muddy puddles galore. Autumn is the perfect time for walkies. Yeah, but dog <laughs> owners have been warned to watch out for potentially dangerous hazards lurking on pavements and in parks. I didn't uh, know this. No, so today Scuddy's here with some advice. How Hi. Are you? Hi, yeah, with hi, Scully. Dr. Scar. Ha, ha, hi, everyone. Scully just chilling out. Hello. Like, he's on the sofa. Hi, 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 I'm back, I'm back. She looks great. I'm in my happy place. Scully. So, Scully, we don't want to, like, scare people, so is, no. is autumn dangerous or not? It's just a time where it gets cold, it gets wet, uh, and as a result, there are just a few things to think about. So right. we've just gone through a really lovely, warm, sunny summer. Yeah. And so when things start to change, we just need to kind of change tempo a little bit and just think about some things that weren't present just a couple of months ago. Well, obviously, leaves are a big thing. They're quite hazardous Classic. to human beings. Are those quite hazardous? <laughs> are leaves hazardous to human beings? Oh, my God. I've slipped over so many times. Oh, oh, yeah, I was thinking you get a over... concussion or something. Okay. Well, I nearly did because I've <laughs> slipped on these leaves so many times. I mean, are they hazardous to our, our pets? So um, leaf mulch uh, can be if they if they tend to consume it, which if it's on their coats, maybe they will do so. But it's more what it might hide underneath it, so that the sticks and things. And also, um, being that it's moist, um, if they do get injuries or abrasions to their yeah. paws and in between their toes, it's moist, and so therefore infections more likely to get in. So it's just ah. something that you need to start looking in between their toes and their feet that little bit more after a walk and just washing them off. That sort of the build up of not only you know, um, leaf mulch but also mud as well. In terms of what they might eat, yes. like foreign matter, which largely I just wrote down on my script one word, Labradors. <laughs> because, like, yes. you know, they're like, like, so like, what's yeah. that? I'm going to eat it. Who's yeah. saying I'm yeah, going to eat him? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, there was a famous Labrador I treated years ago now that um, ate 12 football socks <laughs> and only started, <laughs> no. only started vomiting when it swallowed the 13th. <laughs> and, then, and then it was in hospital, it was in the clinic, it was in hospital, and then it ate its dressing that was on and then, no. and then, and then crapped out like a 12 foot long poo. <laughs> Just classic. <laughs> Labrador's going to Labrador. Oh, man, it's just right. going to Labrador, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, my so God, do they just eat anything there? They, 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 they tell, well, Labrador owners watching this will just think, yeah, nightmare. <laughs> um, they're, they're pretty bad. They're just, they're just a hungry old dog, aren't they? But they're fantastic. But going out and about, I think it's acorns and conkers that are I didn't are the know this. So acorns um, are produced by oak trees, of course, and they um, have tannins in them, and that can just be quite irritating to their gut. Uh, and then also there are conkers, um, which uh, they're le maybe less um, irritation to the gut, but what they are is the perfect size to lodge in your dog's intestinal tract so they can add to a foreign body, and that can then lead to diarrhoea, it can lead to intractable or consistent vomiting. And if that does happen and you did see your dog chewing on a, a conker, then you obviously want to go and see a vet. I've got so many acorns in my back garden and yeah. Bobby goes out there all the time. I never even thought about yeah, that. Yeah, so you just need to make sure that they, they aren't consuming them because they, they can be just upsetting to the gut. But you'll notice because they'll... Uh, They'll, they'll either be sick or they'll, it'll come out the other Sidebar, way. Sidebar, Dr Scott's very confused as to what a conquer is. Yeah. You British why? people in your crazy, quirky ways. Are like, you why do you Why do you put a hole in a seed and swing it around? <laughs> like, you smack each other's nuts. It's Man. very... It's, it's, it's right. not right. It's not it's right. it's fun. It's good fun. Well, how, it doesn't sound fun. It's really good fun. And then a dog you've got to do try it and now, smash, right? You've got to try and smash their conquer. And if you smash their Excuse conquer, me? you're the winner. You're the winner, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Listen, man, we grew up game. in the 80s, there wasn't that much to do. But also, like, you know, <laughs> you are you've, missing got, out. you've got the Royal Guard with those big hats. It looks like if they chase a bad guy, they'd topple over. You've got, a, like, an insignia with lions on it. You don't have lions. And then now you've got grown men smacking each other in the nut, nuts. Is that what they are? Grown men I don't do understand. often it's do that very strange. with the conquest. You're a quirky <laughs> bunch, you British, aren't you? Lovely. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Alabama rock. What is Alabama rock? Yeah, what's Alabama right. rock? Right, so it's, it's, um, it, it's, I should say, it's a, it's a very uncommon condition, but it is uh, present in the New Forest. We have been seeing it as vets um, during the cooler months, so from November to about May, and it causes um, a nasty condition where it's basically cutaneous and renal glomerular uh, uh, vasculopathy. I had to remind myself. It's, it's, it's tricky to say, try and say that three times. Uh, basically, they get skin conditions, but then they can get um, uh, life-threatening um, really? effects to their kidneys. No one even knows what causes it. It's, it's really ambiguous. It's a very strange condition, but it's one um, particularly in muddy um, environments. Yeah. So during that time of year, you just want to be very careful and extra careful when you go to walks, particularly in New Forest and other areas. Do check out your local guides regarding dog walks um, and then just washing their 
their feet off really thoroughly. It's should you a... just wash the feet off as a matter of course? Is that what you should Yes, do? absolutely. But that's as vets, that's the only thing we can recommend because we actually don't understand the disease um, correctly, even now. And it's been a few years in the UK and, and many years. But if you America. go for a walk anywhere, like in, in this time of year, should you of be course. washing the feet afterwards? Yeah, absolutely. There's oh. always a bit of grip between the, the toes and it's always a, a worthwhile just thing. Just make to it do. a routine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about going out in the dark? Does that pose any issues? Yeah, well, so I think it's just a case of safety. You know, your dogs are being used to having these long days and so you can go out in the morning and the evening and it's light. So always just think about having reflective clothing on, put a reflective collar on the dog as well. Uh, and it's just always better if you can try and walk them during the day because there is an increase of about 18% of um, injuries associated with just simply oh, being in the dark no. and then being hit by cars, being lost, etc. What about seasonal affective disorder. The dog, do yes. animal, animals get that? Yeah, so the PDSA did a uh, survey, re survey recently and it did show that um, maybe about a third of dog owners thought that their dogs were affected by sad disorder. I mean, I know that I am. It's certainly something that affects me and it affects them because um, uh, their pineal gland produces melatonin and um, when it's darker, those amounts get lower and it does lead to just dogs being a little bit sad but I think they're Aww. creatures of habits so try and keep the habits up still get out there enjoy the great outdoors autumn is an awesome time to go for a walk with like, dog they barely even know it's autumn oh my cat just goes in my cat just yeah I'll see you next spring <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah hey and Halloween's around the corner I heard pumpkins can be eaten by your pets yeah so don't waste them I actually in, in Australia we love pumpkin in our roast that's a standard roast fare so um, you can just the, the the sort of the meat inside and the seeds not actually the outside or the stem mm -hmm. um, you can give them to you your dog your they'll absolutely love it yeah it's great or oh, eat it yourself it's tremendous yeah, yeah oh, love it thank you Doc. thanks Scott. Scott. great to see you again guys amazing